Well, good morning, folks. Uh, this morning, I bring you good and bad news. The good news is that I found my uh, wallet and passport, which was a major weight off my mind. I thought I was going to be spending a couple of nights in a cell somewhere trying to blag my way back into Blighty, so thank goodness I don't have to do that. The bad news is, it's the last day of our tour. So uh, let me just recap uh, where we are. Yesterday, we um, travelled down from the ferry at Kiel, uh, and we came all the way around the outside of Hamburg and down this way, and now we're in this area, which is the Wilderhausen, uh, staying at the hotel. Uh, and then today we've got about a 200 mile uh, ride uh, back across Holland uh, to the Hook of Holland, obviously where we catch the ferry home. And down this way we're going to stop for some supper and there's some windmills and stuff to see. So it's our last full day of riding, as I say. So we're uh, really sad that that's the case. I'll uh, try and get a little bit of video on the way back for anything interesting that we see. Um, just thought I'd show you this last hotel room. As I say, we're in Wilderhausen and this hotel is called the, uh, what's it called? Let me just check. Uh... It's called the Gut Altona. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, anyway, here we go. It's uh, perfectly functional, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's in, in a state of sort of mid-build, if I show out the window. Very strange place. Anyway, um, it served its purpose. Just going to grab some breakfast, and it's back on the bike. Speak to you in a minute. Ah, lovely to be back on the bike again. So we leave uh, Wildershausen in Germany on our final leg of this uh, epic tour. It's been, really has been an amazing couple of weeks. We've been so lucky with the weather. And uh, today again, it's, it must already be about 26. In fact, yeah, it is 26, I've just checked. <laughs> and the weather today is set to be back into the 30s again. Unbelievable. So as I mentioned, I don't think today's route is gonna be particularly scenic. There is some, uh, I think there's at least one ancient village we're gonna be going through and stopping maybe for a spot of lunch. There's some uh, famous cube houses in uh, Holland we're going to have a look at, and some, uh, and some windmills as well. As well, it turns out, there's a couple of ferries across the river later on the trip. So, uh, if I see anything of interest, I shall uh, let you know. Stick around and stay tuned. Right, so wind forward an hour or so, and we're in, uh, back in Holland. Just fueled up, so we've got enough fuel to get us to the ferry terminal. We're just going to have a quick cheeky coffee stop. It's still incredibly hot. Looks like a likely cafe over there. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Well, that was a splendid little coffee stop at this place. Uh it's called New Amsterdam, actually, it's just south of Emmen. It's obviously quite new, but it's got everything you need. Petrol stations, nice cafes, boats, can't go wrong with boats, and lovely weather. Right, we're going to crack on back to the motorway now, and make our way towards Utrecht, and uh, hopefully find a nice little town for a spot of lunch. Why not, indeed? First Dutch windmill sighting. Looks like the real thing. It's interesting now we're back in Holland where they've had obviously a very similarly hot summer as we have. It's currently 29.5 degrees here. It's just, uh, there we go, 29 and a half. It's a little bit cooler than yesterday where it peaked at 36 when we were in Germany. But nonetheless, 29 and a half is still pretty hot for this uh, part of the world. And you can see the hill at the grass is all brown just like it is in the UK. It was so nice in Norway to see some greenery. Seems a long time since I saw green grass. The rest of Europe is looking more like how Spain normally looks. What a treat to be on a motorway that's fairly empty. Oh, this is a fairly boring motorway stretch, has to be said. Got uh, 106 miles to go until I get to the ferry terminal. So this is the town of uh, Schoenhoven. S-C-H-O-O-N-H-O-V-E-N which seems to be a, uh, a bit of a local tourist attraction a bit of a sort of an old town that looks a bit let's go and have a look we're thinking an ideal spot for a coffee stop cool looks like a mini Amsterdam how splendid so that was uh, Schoenhafen and we've uh, picked up Richard as well on the way, which is excellent. We're now heading off uh, to another little spot of interest on the way back to the ferry, which is uh, 
some more windmills I think and uh, I think there's another coffee stop there so <laughs> it'll be remiss of us not to have another little stop in the area of the windmills so stick around stay tuned let's see what they look like this is a lovely little spot just noticed lots of uh, dikes and irrigation channels and that around here this is typically Holland so I had to check the elevation look and we're at minus eight feet at the moment so we're actually below sea level here when I uh, switched it on minus eight always climbing up minus ten again minus nine brilliant there's something wacky about that I've never ridden my bike at negative elevation before as far as I know which indicates that this is all reclaimed land that used to be under the sea I'm assuming there's some very clever irrigation management going on here with all these dikes. Doesn't get much more Dutch than this, does it? Look at that, minus 20 feet now. How low do we go? Minus 27 feet I saw then. That's a new negative record for me in height. Right, we're on the lookout for these windmills. Which actually I assume aren't windmills at all, but wind pumps. Oh, hello. So before we get to our wind pumps, looks like we've got a bit of ferry action to take care of. Not quite the same sort of ferry action as we saw in Norway, but nonetheless, quite exciting. And are we in luck? Is that a ferry waiting? Yes it is. Esmeralda, no less. Just missed it. Bother. Oh, they're making us on. Yes they are. Splendid. Not the longest of crossings. Yeah, very exciting, isn't it? Bit of beach action going on. Tempting. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? Oh well. That's all very exciting. Right. The team has reformed. So that was two euros ten for that little crossing. Is that good value? <laughs> I guess it is if it saves you uh, riding about 30 miles or something. All good fun. Okay, official windmill number two. The sails were turning just now as well. Great stuff. In fact, if you look at the river on our right, look, or dike, whatever it's called, is actually a lot higher than the ground level down there. Which backs up the earlier theory about this being reclaimed land. Oh, this is so much more pleasant than the motorway. It's a very nice breeze here as well. Which is very welcome. Now that on my right is a barge. I mean, they don't mess about here, do they? The size of that. I don't know what it's carrying, but uh, it's spraying water onto the decks for some reason. I wonder if that's to do with the fact that it's so hot today and what it's carrying is perishable in heat. I don't know, it's uh, 28 degrees at the moment. Wild. Better keep an eye on the road. Another windmill, absolutely thrashing it round in this breeze. Well, I mean, that looks thoroughly dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sure it isn't. Wow, impressive. Oh, impressive. Cool, look at that lot. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen as many windmills in one spot. Or wind pumps. So another splendid little stop there at the uh, Kinder Dyke, I think it was called, the uh, place where all the windmills were. Took a snap, had a coffee, very nice. We're just really sort of killing time. We're now heading into uh, Rotterdam. We're going to try and find uh, 
the old town if we can have a bite to eat because we don't actually need to get onto the ferry until something like 8 or 9 p.m. So we've got plenty of time on hand. Another cool bridge moment. We just don't get bridges of this type back in Blighty, so it's uh, very exciting for me. When I get to ride over these, just go with me on this. Nice. And the big city over to the right that earlier on I casually mentioned was Amsterdam. Well, I was completely wrong, of course. That is probably Rotterdam, because we're not very far away from there. You may not even be able to see it with a GoPro because it's just on the horizon. I have to say, for a relatively small European country, well, very small European country, it doesn't have, to have some big roads. How many lanes has this got? 4, 8, 12, 14 at least lanes on this stretch of road. Who would have thought it, eh? Another mega bridge as we uh, come into Rotterdam now. Pretty uh, amazing looking place. Certainly not small anyway. Whoa, a little three-wheeler there on the right. What is that about? Bizarre. I think it was a Ford car at one point. How odd. Well, I've never been to Rotterdam before. I've been to the Netherlands lots. In fact, uh, many years ago I used to work in the Netherlands, but I never came to Rotterdam and I never knew it was quite like this. This is really an impressive looking city. This frontage here on the river is amazing. So quite looking forward to uh, having a little bit of a look round if we can. Well, there's certainly some uh, wild architecture, especially on the other side of the river there. I don't know if you can see that tower block. It's like a stack of cards that have been shifted out somehow. And an impressive bridge. However, I'm following Bill, who's done some clever stuff with his sat-nav on his phone. He's trying to get us to uh, the central touristy zone. So we've parked the bikes up in Rotterdam. We've come in here into the sort of indoor market area. Some very impressive architecture here. What do you make of it then, Bill? It's big, isn't it? It's cool, isn't it? So this is the market. Yeah, is that what's it? Market Plaza. Son. Right. Yes. Shame we don't pay some Ibericos, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be world. ideal for that, wouldn't it? Show it down. Of, uh, dried meat. Yeah. Let's have a look. Where's Richard gone? I don't know. Oh, he's yeah. out there. Oh, we'll find him in a minute. Let's have a look. <coughs> There's a definite sort of uh, South American vibe going on, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, I know the restaurant was for on. Ibericus doesn't sound so South American, though, to be fair, does it? That's South African, isn't it? Oh, everything from the four corners of the earth. <laughs> well, it smells good. It smells good, eh? Strooper waffles are my favourite. <laughs> now you mention it. Adam Coco's, that sounds like your sort of bar. <laughs> Nuts, my lord. Cool. Check out that mural. Bram Laddidge, they've got uh, Shep Snoop, Proven. You didn't fancy any Schnep Snoop then? I didn't see it. What was it? Back there, well, I don't really know. Or Ham Laddidge. No, saving myself for a pizza. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's a safe bit. Fruit smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> I think they've plenty of them. Whoa, they smell good. I haven't been to a bar market for a long time, but I don't remember it being like this. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's a very trendy thing now, bar market. Is it? Oh, yeah. 
So now we've come to Rotterdam's world famous cube houses. Another thing that I wasn't even aware of, a bit like heavy water. No. Nope. Until in fact about 20 minutes ago when we turned up here. Yeah. But uh, if you want to know what a cube house is, this is what they look like. It tells you, is it a cube? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Literally. I'm not sure about the practicality of the cube house, but uh, certainly interesting to look at. Oh yeah, so Rotterdam is full of surprises, really, isn't it? Definitely, if you're doing a trip back on the ferry, it's definitely worth coming into Rotterdam, having a look around. It's a good place. So, thank you very much, uh, Rotterdam. We just had a bite to eat, and a uh, very pleasant evening there. And uh, killed all the time we need to kill. It's now 20 to 8. We can uh, just head to the boat now and uh, get ourselves settled in on the ferry and head on home to Blighty and that's pretty much it so um, I'll speak to you once I'm settled in on the ferry. Sad, huh? So there we are back on the ferry back where all this started over two weeks ago now it's been an absolutely incredible tour 16 days we've been away I've never been away from my wife and kids for that long ever uh, I've known I've been with my wife for 27 years and I've never been away for her for two weeks so uh, can't wait to see my wife and kids tomorrow that's going to be fantastic but what a great tour it's been first of all got to say a thousand thanks to uh, Motorrad Tours for inviting me along on this it's been a trip of a lifetime I've made some memories that I'm never going to forget it's been absolutely cracking as hopefully you've seen over the last few weeks uh, made some great new friends as well great riding buddies so uh, fantastic thanks very much to uh, Joanna, Nigel, uh, Bill and Richard <laughs> we've just had a, we've had a blast it's been really nice meeting you guys so thank you very much and last but not least thanks to you guys for watching these videos I know that um, when I put up the initial uh, new tour videos I sometimes get some you know quite good numbers maybe 30,000 views and by the time I get to the end of the run there's only kind of a hardcore uh, that are still viewing so if you're still here watching this thank you very much for sticking around for the uh, for the long haul and watching all these videos it's been an absolute blast to make and I cannot wait to go touring again don't know when the next tour is or where it's going to be but rest assured there will be another Friday tour series coming along again soon okay that's it for now uh, thanks again for watching look forward to speaking to you next time till then this has been the missing them fly, cheerio.